has begun. Hey everyone, it is March 12th and you're here at the Chaos Weekly Community Call. Good to see everybody here. I will, um, I think everybody has the minutes, but if you need them, we can certainly put them in the chat for you. I um, hope everyone's having a really good day today. And yay, the share worked. It didn't work for me last time, I don't know why. Um, but it does now, so yay. Go me. There's my win for the day is that I got Zoom to work. Huh. <laughs> I feel like stuck. that's a big win, actually. Uh, if you haven't added your name to the agenda, we would love that. If you want to tell us about a win that you've had recently, we can celebrate it with you. Sean, I'm with you on this surviving. Yes. I mean, that is a huge win, I think. Because I'm still adjusting. Like, I don't know. I've, I'm old. It was hard getting up this morning. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and start. So I am super excited, like way more excited about this than I probably should be. But um, we, I have been setting up this calendar that we can try and I would really love beta testers for this. And I wanna show you all what it looks like. So here it is, let me move this over here so I can see the whole thing. Uh, yeah, so this will let us, let our community um, subscribe to just one thing if they want, one or two things. So um, this is an app called Team Up, and it has uh, sub-calendars underneath the main calendar. So people can subscribe with um, these um, ICS files, which are a common, common thing. You can, uh, here are the links to subscribe or else you can go over here, which I will I will communicate this when this goes on the website, but you can come over here to preferences and see the whole list of all of them. So what, what you do is you copy this and then you add it as a URL into your into your calendar, um, how, whatever you're using, and then you're subscribed. So you would only see the ones that you subscribe to or you can subscribe to all of them if you like. Could somebody move? Somebody's really loud. It's Georg. Georg. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I thought maybe it would be me. I don't know. Um, yeah, so what I like about these is that, um, besides the fact that you can subscribe to whatever you want, we can do cool things like um, we added, we can add a facilitator's name in there. We can also sh show people what time zone the meeting is tied to so that if, you're not sure you'll if it's going to be on daylight savings or not. It'll you'll it'll show up there. It also shows up in the title of it, um, which is good. We can also add custom fields. So if there's something else we want to communicate, um, you know, across meetings, we can do that, which I think is kind of cool. Um, we can decide there is a um, supposedly a great Slack integration, which makes me super happy because we've been missing that for a while, and just kind of doing some janky like if this then that stuff. So I'd much prefer like an actual <laughs> real integration would be great. Um, you can also add an event if you want. Like we have next week the, um, somewhere, the new Badger orientation. So you could add that to, to your event if you wanted to. And um, we would, you can communicate it through this, which is like sending this link around to people so that they can just sign up for whatever, however they want. Um, and that's what that looks like. This looks great. I I really like it a lot. Like it does a whole lot of things, which are amazing to me. Um, how would it look in the current like calendar page we have? I mean, I, I kind of like the, what you're showing here. It looks pretty nice to me. <laughs> just yeah, yeah. So we can embed it in a in our website. Um, we can okay. also just link to this. I I don't really have a preference either way. I don't know if the community does, but um, yeah, we could try both and see what we like better. I would vote for embedding it. I love the embedding format, but this is really cool if this can be embedded in the website. Yeah, let's take a look at that then. Just how, okay. would it show up? Like, I like the colors too, to be honest, just to yeah. show differences, you know? That's my, that's my design skills at work. Good job. Did you have a, color choices? Oh, hey, it's like, oh, I, of course. <laughs> <Good job. laughs> 
Uh, Peculiar, you have your hand up. Yeah, my hand is up. Hi, it is great. Hi, everyone. Okay, so I want to ask a question. Um, is there a way to, like what you mentioned last time, is there a way to block out time here using this calendar for those that are recording uh, button courses? That is an excellent question, and I haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> but I'm really hoping that there is or um, some way for us to indicate, like to, to um, what Peculiar is talking about is we, we are trying to have a way for people to sign up and block things off. So it would be like an appointment. You know, you would, you would block off a time just for you to be able to record videos for our onboarding course. And so, um, yes, that actually, let me put this in here so I don't forget to look into that. Okay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you for the reminder. I really appreciate that. You're welcome. What other questions do we have? I would I would really love people to add some calendars, help me test it out, find what looks janky, what's not right. Um, I did want to also mention that there is a delay in syncing. It could be 12 to 24 hours. So if I make a change on the main one, it might not reflect on yours for 12 to 24 hours. And that is a limitation in Google Calendar and Outlook and all of them, not just like our system here, but it's it's on the Google Calendar side. Uh, so Peculiar, you... do you have something new or are you, um, is that still from your question before? Uh, sorry, I didn't get that. Okay, sorry. Oh, forgot my hand is still raised. I'm putting it down now. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Um, Benad, go ahead. So I'm uh, no, unable to open the link at my end, this new Kiosk calendar link. I'm getting an uh, error, which is like secure connection fail. So is it linked to your machine? Is everyone else able to open it? I was able to open it. Uh, I'm, I'm getting secure connection fail with this particular link. So. Is, is anybody else? Matt's, Matt's okay. Anybody else? Yeah, I can open it. So it might be something blocking from your end, Vinod. I don't know. No. So if, is it a secure connection or not? Because I'm at campus, so maybe I will be able to open it at home, but not on campus. So. Yeah, uh, it is a secure connection. Hmm. And I'm not logged in as anybody. You know, if I look at that upper right hand corner. Yeah, this is just a read only yeah. version mm -hmm. of the calendar. Hmm. Maybe just try a different browser real quick for that. Okay, let me do it in the corner. Let's see. Armstrong, do you need the link to the calendar? Oh, thanks, Matt. Oops, same on the Chrome also. Mm -hmm. It Evan, must be. Could, Evan, did you open it? Oh yeah, I'm I'm, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, this really looks great, by the way, Elizabeth. Oh, good. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, agreed. I really like it. Yeah, Vinod, I wonder if it's something with your university that blocks the site for some reason. Yeah, I have to look at it. So maybe, yeah. You, university yeah, just helping out, as always. <laughs> Technology. <laughs> I wonder what it will look like then if it's embedded. <clears throat> you Let's keep it secure. Add. I guess we'll see. Most yeah. secure systems are the unusable ones. <laughs> <laughs> really really secure <laughs> so secure we can't even get to it okay exactly um one other question elizabeth did you how did you feel about the categorizations i know that the um you know what i'm talking about like we have a, a an x a limited number of sub calendars we can make i think on the account we're on so I went ahead and upgraded um, oh, okay. I'm on the free. So Sean, whenever, if you get a chance, you can put the payment in, but it's on a free trial for a few okay. days. Um, uh, we have 12. I was trying to figure out which plan to use. So should it be the plan that you selected? 
Yeah, yeah. I think just the 12 accounts should be enough for now. We have actually an extra one from these. So if we wanted to, like I lumped community, the newcomer hangout and the community call together, we could split those. We could yep. split these two. What did you do with like uh, the context working groups? Are they one? They're all on their own. So oh, science is here, uh, okay. yeah, academic. Oh, I see. And, okay, yeah. gotcha. Okay, great, looks great. Yay, so again, if you are subscribing to something and you see something weird, please let me know. Um, so I can check that out. And this actually helps a lot too. It's like I get people who just want to join, for example, science or data science. And it just, the way that you showed it, like how you could provide that web page. Yes, really nice. it won't let you subscribe. The only, the only bad thing is that that is just for one event. So if I go here to this one and I click on this and I say share this via page, it does not let you subscribe, I don't believe, to this whole calendar. It's letting oh, you just subscribe to this one event. Gotcha. Is the implementation. That's my understanding. We can we can test it out. I see. Okay. That's kind of what I was uh, thinking is going on. But we okay. can thoroughly test it if we want. But yeah, like, I like this. I, I like look. that look. It's very clear. Mm -hmm. Very, really yeah. helpful. Yeah, and then we can also attach files. So if there's, uh, if we wanted to attach the minutes or attach something, we can do that. Um, and again, we can add extra fields if we want. So, oh, one other thing too, sorry. I'm super psyched about this calendar, as <laughs> you guys can't tell. Um, you can also search. So if I wanted to see like, oh, let me see all the ones that uh, have to do with metrics. I can do that and then it'll tell you anything that's anywhere it's mentioned in the whole event. So in the description, in the title, wherever else. Or if I want to say like, hey, what meetings do I facilitate? I can search on my name. These are the ones that I or have my name attached to them. So it's kind of cool. We could put keywords in if we want to help people find a meeting that they're interested in. Um, we can really do a lot with that. So it's kind of cool. You are correct. If I added one of those pages, it's just that mm -hmm. day. Just that one event. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So for things like the orientation, the badge orientation, it only happens that once. It's not a repeating event. So that one would be fine. But if it's, we want people to, you know, be able to subscribe to the full repeating schedule, then they'll have to do the calendar. You know, but I, still, that might even be helpful just like to get somebody to the first meeting. Like, here yeah, you go. Sure. <laughs> like it's in a week or two weeks or whatever. Here's yeah, one. and you can um when they join, we can just remind people to add this as a recurring event. Yeah, we can also send them the link. Um I wonder what happens if I do this. I don't know. I don't know. I'll but, play around um, with that though too. I'll take it. Yeah, we can play around with the sharing. Okay, cool. Great. For sure. So yeah, if every if you know people have ideas on what we can do with this, um, yeah, all yours. I think it's pretty cool. It has a lot of functionality, so and it's pretty cheap. So yay! All right, any other questions before we move on? No, it's great. Thank you. Okay, yay! So the next one I put on here, um, we have these two groups: the project managers and the community managers, and we have Slack channels for them. They're very um, irregular meetings, um, a lot of async work, but it's also kind of uh, slow moving because we don't have um, like regular meetings. We don't really have co-chairs. I mean, I was kind of acting as like the unofficial chair of these, but I, I would really, I really would like others to have an opportunity to kind of take some leadership positions here. So um, I wanted to just put this out here uh, to see what the community thought about adding these as official groups on like our governance doc as actual working groups and actually assign some co-chairs to them and just kind of let them, you know, get them going a little bit better, a little more coordinated, a little formalized, not super formal, but a little more structured than we have right now. So I wanted to see what everybody thought about that. So would this be like a, as an example, a community managers working group? Yes. Mm -hmm. And would it be community managers just from the chaos project? Yes. Like folks who are doing some of the regional work. Regional work and or things like um, the ambassadors program. Like we have some folks that have dropped some ideas into the ambassadors doc. Um, but we like really need 
people, I would love to have, I, I should say, I would love to see people be able to take these ideas and really implement them fully and bring them back to the group. Like it doesn't have to just be me all the time. Like I really yep. want to kind of spread the, you know, spread the opportunities around yeah, yeah. the people. Um, um, I know there are some other, um, I know like Mary Blessing has a, a lot of other ideas on things we can do. Like I would put like tour guides and things like that under community managers also, you know, like all the new kind of the newcomer experience, mm -hmm. things like that. What would be under project managers? So project managers are the ones who are running uh, things like the badging bot. They're running things like um, the accessibility audit. They're oh. running like those sub projects that we have going on in the project because there's a bunch of those. I got you. Um, some are ongoing. Some are like start and finish. Like the accessibility audit will be a start and finish. I got you. And we have okay. like a list of all of them. But like right now, we we haven't really met since January, and that's I think because I was traveling a lot, and like I've been the one to kind of drive those. But I would really like to have others do that as well. Um, so yeah, I just want to throw that out there and see what everybody thought. I think it's a good idea. I mean, we just need to add them to the operations working groups on the working groups page. And they don't need, they can meet, but not all of our groups necessarily necessarily have that structure. I think it just depends on what, what those what those groups feel like they need. But I think giving them chairs and letting some, you know, other people have some other opportunities for leadership and, and drive it, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Um... So the community manager group in particular decided that async worked best for them, but maybe like, you know, somebody to just kind of keep it going and maybe do like once a month meeting, once every other month meeting, just to kind of touch base. Um, but just to make, you know, just keep keep people engaged because I feel like I'm not always able to do that with everything else. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I like the idea because um, I, you know, like, Yes, I like the idea. And is there, do you sense that there's interest from folks who are doing, say like community work in other parts of the world? Yeah, good question. Okay. Um, so we have like our, that regional leads meeting, that's like a side and a side, but I feel like I would really like to integrate them also more into, Agreed. you know what yeah. I mean? So um, I feel like that is a, a way that they can do that. I haven't really talked to them about it, so I don't know, okay. I don't know what they feel, but um, it would be great to just give them a place in chaos to connect. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Okay. So I'm not really hearing any objections. No, no, there are none. Okay. Um, yes, let's do this. That sounds pretty lightweight. And when it turns out we don't need the working group anymore or it's not being used, then we just wind it down again. But the opportunity that we have here is worth trying it. I think so too. And it could be like, like the website group. Like we have the website group but we only like fire it up when we're doing, you know, big changes to the website. And then, then it kind of, you know, goes to the side a little bit and then it'll come back up. So it could be like that as well. And I think the website group is still on the working uh, operational groups on the governance. I'm pretty sure that it is. And it should, it should be like, that's a functional thing that we have. So, okay, awesome. So then um, I guess the next steps would be, I can go back to those groups and see if they, we have interest people who are interested in taking up those positions. Does that sound reasonable to everybody? Yeah, and I'm wondering, like just kind of operationally as well, like if you have the project managers meeting, say like every whatever, two weeks or month, whatever it might be, it would just be communicating to the folks that are doing say the audit, or folks that have been involved in the website or folks that have been like the badging stuff. Say, you know, if you want to meet, this is the time that's available. I mean, of course you can have another meeting, but here's a, a, a room that's available for all of you every two weeks and just feel free to put your items on the agenda, whatever those might be. Yeah, I love that. I love that idea. And just to have someone kind of just facilitating that and keeping it organized. Mm -hmm. 
It was amazing. Yep. Yes. Awesome. I love that. All right. Thanks, everybody. Let's go on. Um, I see this. I'm guessing one of the Batergia folks put that on here. I can talk about that. We are hosting a Madrid Data and Tapas Day on May 28. It's a, a place to get together and talk about the challenges of making good use of metrics in organizations. It's not only about the health of open source projects, it's also about internal software development because Petrugia is moving more and more in that direction. Um, that's where the money is. <laughs> and so uh, this is where we have where we are bringing people together that have an interest in analyzing software projects and you're all invited to join us if you can make it and if you need a ticket you can also ask if the 40 euros is uh, a barrier so the idea is to, yeah, you can look at the agenda. We have uh, some talks to get oriented and then some unconference sessions where it's about learning from each other. I'll be there. It's a fairly short trip for me to Madrid. Yay! I will be there between two other meetings. And, uh, oh, will you? I it, wondered if that fit it's between. The day before, it's also the day before a Taylor Swift concert in Madrid. So since uh, we're all going to Taylor Swift, we should now. all go Book to your hotel now <laughs> is what I'm saying, yeah. <clears throat> I love that you know that, Sean. That makes me very happy that you just knew that off the top of your head. That's amazing. I had to go I had to when I saw the date and the place, I'm like, I wonder how close Taylor Swift's shows are. Very close as it turns out. <laughs> All right, any other questions for Georg on this event? Looks awesome. There's no virtual component to that, right? Georg, it's all in person. Yes, correct. This so is about, it... yeah, it's about getting together and picking each other's brains. And with the unconference format, it's hard to stream that or engage in audience online. Yeah, that's fair. I was going to go get my own tapas and just eat them. Tapas. Okay. Well, thank you, Georg. This looks amazing. Moving on, uh, just some new Badger orientation sessions. If you're new to chaos and you would like to find a way to contribute uh, easily, I think this is a great way to do so. You don't need to know anything about our metrics, really, anything about chaos, really. Everything you will need to know will happen at one of these uh, hour-long sessions. So um, you can click this and add it to your calendar. There you go. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. I mean, because I, you know, I was having people send me, like, if you're interested, I'll add you to the invites, back and forth. And then I was like, oh, wait, I want to try the new calendar. So. It's like a self-service thing. You can just add it, show up. You don't need to register or anything like that. Everything needs to have a calendar connection now. Everything we <laughs> talk about. Right? Literally. <laughs> just do it. Go, go get it yourself. Um, do I have questions from people on that session? I don't know if Ruth, is Ruth on here today? Let's see her. Okay. Ruth may be there with me. We'll see how that goes. And you're still oh. feeling okay, like with respect to the number of badgers? Because we yeah. just this big, it was the big from the LF. Yeah, we are still doing great. Um, oh, Mary Blessing will be there too. Good. Um, we're still doing fine. I, the only reason I'm actually bringing these up is because we had a few people express <laughs> interest in becoming new badgers. So I thought, well, we haven't done one in a while. Let's just go ahead and do that. And we'll okay. usher in some new folks too, just in case. But just... yeah, so far, I think we're okay. Okay. So the next one is, I just wanted to tell everybody we've badged over 150 events, which I think is cool. 
So that's pretty awesome. That's, it. <laughs> that's the thing. That's it. Um, and yeah, we did have a chance. We've had a chance to talk with some folks at other foundations as well who have an interest in starting to participate. So that should be, hopefully we see some of that soon. Some more, yeah. So when, when if we do get other folks, other folks who are running a bunch of events, we're ready for that. Okay. So I think we have enough people, yeah. Um, okay, so let's move on to this connection with OpenChain. I just put that there. It had shown up in the general channel just as about, um, Kind of a way if we're thinking about standards with metrics or metrics models just a connection with open chain i know we've talked with open chain in the past and it was a you know real positive conversation i don't think anything came of it really so i, I just i wanted to bring people's attention to that thread in the general channel just about particularly around um kind of the the work that's starting up again in asia and connecting with, I think OpenChain does a lot of work in Asia as well. So just seeing if there's points of connections there. That's it. Any questions for Matt? Or anybody have any thoughts on this? I have no answers to your questions. <laughs> pointing you to that thread if you wanna <laughs> hop on it. <laughs> Okay, well, let's move on. I'm guessing that Don put this on here. I'm glad you did, Don. You want to talk about it? Um, I did, yeah. Uh, I don't need to talk much about it, but we had uh, Remy and his team, including Isaac and Natalia, and um, uh, a third, uh, another person whose name is escaping me right now. But uh, it was and Sean, and it was. There's this really interesting conversation about what they're doing and some of the um, interesting things about doing open source within the federal U.S. federal government. So that was, uh, yeah, it was really interesting. So I encourage you to listen to the podcast. That's it. Any questions for Don? Thanks for keeping all these going, Don. I know it's a lot of work to coordinate things and get people on the call and get it edited with Paul. Like it just, and get it published. Like there's just a lot of steps in there. I'm also kind of looking at Georg, who I think can attest to the, <laughs> to the amount of work. It is, it is a lot of work. I feel like it's worth it. Yes. If you have Thank ideas, you, let me know or drop them in. We have mm -hmm. a place for those because I, I would encourage other people to, to do some podcasts. That reminds me, I still need to get the new postcards printed so we can start sending those out. I'll find the quote that I have for printing them and get permission to use them, but budget we have. Cool. Yes, I just want to plus one that. Um, thank you, Don. I know I also know that it's a lot of work and I appreciate you and Georg too. I appreciate you all keeping that going. Okay, the last few minutes of the call we're gonna use for Chaos Con Sync. So unless there's any other things that people wanna bring up, um, here's now, speak now, forever hold your peace, so they say. Is there anything else we need to talk about? Good. All right, so if you are not on the Chaos Con committee, you are free to go and enjoy the rest of your day. Anybody else who is on the ChaosCon committee, please stick around so we can just have a quick sync. And thanks, everybody. We'll see you later. And Sean, you can stop the recording whenever. No, I want to keep it going. This is exciting. All right, <laughs> I'll stop.